Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and welcome to Hashtag Tag Tuesday. Uh, Tag Tuesday is an open collab hosted by me. If you'd like to participate, just link your link my channel, subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know and I'll uh, link your channel in my and add your channel to my participation list and um, <clears throat> use the hashtag Tag Tuesday. <clears throat> Sorry. So uh, I thought I was I was cutting up some scrap file folder and I thought I would go ahead and make some of these kind of they're not exactly tiny or small but they're long and narrow type tags and I have seen a couple of different uh, crafters use these recently and I thought that they were so cute that I you know I decided to when I was cutting up my scraps go ahead and cut some like this and this one I just now found <laughs> in my scraps a file folder so then I pulled out some scraps uh, as I was trying to decide what to decorate with them I have these little strips here and some other like book pages and things right here that I thought I could use so let's see oh here's another file folder this one's kind of almost normal but it's a little bit of uh, you know narrow this way so let's see let's see if we can maybe use a piece of this this is from my nature book these book pages and there's some birds on here that would be super cute on a tag let's see they would fit on here I think yep and they would fit yeah they would fit on a couple of these this one's really narrow isn't it cute <laughs> so let's go ahead and Maybe the easy way to do this would be to uh, glue it down and then cut it out. So let's see. First of all, let me get the, well, let me go ahead and get the birds here because I want to make sure I get the birds. I'm going to do this, kind of play in this by ear a little bit to see exactly how I want to do this. So I'm going to cut this off so I can make sure I get these birds. And then, I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut it because that way I can make sure I have the birds and not uh, try to glue it down and then cut it out. And then I kind of miss the birds, right? So I can see now that I want it something like this. So let's just cut around this real quick and then we'll glue it down. So I have how many here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, little pieces. Okay, so something like that I think will work. Okay, and then the other ones I'm going to make more scrappy. Uh, I, but I might make I might make one more bird. Okay, so it'll be something like this. This one I think I'm going to leave rectangle. Okay, so. I hope everyone's doing well, that you're well and safe <laughs> this week. I've heard a lot of people getting sick recently. Uh, no one that I've been around, but friends of friends, you know what I mean? <laughs> Through the grapevine, I've heard, oh, so and so is sick, so and so is sick. Maybe it's somebody I know that they know but I don't really know the person you know what I mean does that make sense <laughs> like they talk about them and I'm like oh and they're sick oh okay yeah I don't, I, you know I, wouldn't know I know who they're talking about so even though I don't know I don't really know the person okay so let's let me make sure I got a little wrinkle there so let's see if I can get that out Let's scrap over here. It's so cute. If I figure out a way to use it, I will. <laughs> okay. There you go. Got my wrinkle out. It's right there. Okay. So that's cute. Got the birds. There's my wrinkle. <laughs> How did I do that? Let's get that out. I did it by talking and not paying attention close enough to what I'm doing is how I did it okay so since this is a whole piece of paper I have my ink here I just had a feeling I was going to need it you know I just had a feeling so I put it here in case I needed a quick little ink 
of something. And I think this is the perfect piece right here to put some ink on. Yes, it is perfect. Okay, it has this white part on the paper, so there we go. And maybe I brought this over from my, uh, I have some, I had this scrub of like a little trim sitting here. So this could be my little topper. Let's cut it right here. I have some these sharper scissors here to cut fabric with. And then we will, I could glue it on, but I also brought my stapler over in case, I don't know why, I just had a feeling I'm going to, I might I have a feeling I'm gonna need my stapler my ink you know even though I don't have this planned out exactly I just wanted to use these little tags these little strip you know narrow tags strip tags whatever you want to call them and here's a little staple and there we go that one can be done and it's super cute <laughs> here's the back let's put a little ink on the back too so you can see the ink on the edges of the back actually and then it will be more complete I think instead of looking so bland here in the back and there's a little piece of paper there but I think if we go over it with this I won't have to cut it out or cut it off okay a little bit more over here there we go now I can see it better okay that looks good can you see it on camera that's cute, right? Yeah. Okay. That one's, I'm going to say it's done. Now I want to try to use a little bit more of my scraps here. My paper scraps. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six left. So let's see. Let me see this one. Let me cut. There's a hole here from the scrap of paper. You know, this is the strip on the top. That you cut off and here's that dotted line that they insist on putting on a lot of scrap of papers <laughs> so there's a strip I can use let me cut the dotted line off this one I could just put it down and then overlap over that but I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off I don't have to worry about it okay so this one I think I'm going to be covering these up and then cutting off the edges. So I want some long, well this is good right here on this one, nice and long. And then here is some actual coffee dyed paper scraps too. Let's, let's uh, glue this down first. Kind of like, these might be a little collaged type. And then we'll cut, cut off the overhang. Of paper so that we can get full coverage here and I'll recut my hole if I need to or repunch it so I probably should put glue on my tag instead of my paper also so this one I'm just gonna go ahead with it but since I started it that way and this since this is the first one I'll line it up with the edge all right, like that. And then this was the next piece. So for this one, well, yeah, that's not going to work. I need to have it on here. I need to have the glue on here. And then glue it down. So I have the exact place where I want the glue and not kind of guessing where I want it on the tag. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Maybe this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see a little bit of a <laughs> collage there. Okay, and then I'll cut off the extra. Yeah, when I cut these tags, I just didn't know exactly how I was going to decorate them. There we go. And then I might need a focal point. So before, if we have time, maybe we can cover these real quick, a little quicker. And then uh, before we go, put a focal point. But if I don't, 
have time today. I will do that another day. Okay. And then definitely need some ink. I mean, I could leave them just like this too. Or put a little focal point on here. I'm going to open up my ink here. Go ahead and ink this one. Oh, I think I almost need a little brush. I've worn this one out. Okay. All right, and need to cut. I want to cut this off right here. It's a little bit too much paper right here. I kind of spent too much time on this one. This one, I know, but I want to get it right. Okay, so that one I'm going to put over there. Now let's see if we can cover these quicker. We need to do them all at one time. Okay, a little bit quicker here. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about my trash right now. Let's uh, let's do two colors this time. Let's see this one. That one's a little bit too tall for that piece. This one's good, okay. So now this one I'm going to, since it's the first piece, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue down here on the tag. Maybe that'll be a little faster. Get my edges in my corners there. Okay, now this can go next. Okay. I'm going to separate my coffee dye papers there. Okay. Now, will this little one fit anywhere? I think this one might be a little bit too short. So this might be a top. Maybe we'll use that on the top piece, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's put this one here. And this time I'm going to put it on the tag, on the paper. Since it's the top and it's overlapping that other paper. This one can go here. Okay, so that's got two pieces of pattern paper on it. Whoops, wait a minute. I didn't get right to the bottom. Hold on. All right, there we go. I had a sliver on the bottom of the file folder was showing. Okay, there we got it all. Okay, now this one needs a long piece. Let me actually, let's see. What do we have here? There's... There's this too. I pull it out. Let's go ahead and tear a strip of this off. Okay, we'll put this on the longest one that we have left, which is right here. Let me bring it over here where you can see it. Glue this down. Put edges. All right. Try not to waste too much paper here. All right. Get it right on the edge. All right. Okay, that's that one. Okay, now we've got, this one's covered. I'm gonna cut that off in a second. We need another piece on this one. Let's see what we have here. Uh, let's see, let's do, see that's not long enough. Let me cut this one real quick. See what we have, see what I have to work with here. Okay, will this be long enough for any of them? It is not long enough for any of them, <laughs> okay? Okay, so that one I'm going to leave, and that one I'm going to leave. It's kind of short. Okay, let's do a little piece of book page here. I think I'm going to cut or tear. Let me see if I can 
turn this around and tear a piece of book page. And put that on one of these. Maybe this one right here. Okay, so let's put some glue down. You know what, let me tear this little bit of a uh, white edge here. All right. Okay, so book page, and we need another piece on this one. So do I have any more scrap paper that is long enough to cover? So like they all have that hole. Okay, that I have to cut off. Okay, that. So we've got book page. All right, this one. And we have another bird here. This one will be wide enough for another bird. So let's put glue all over this. have to grab another piece of scrapbook paper for my scrap box to have one long enough unless I piece it together so we'll see so this one's going to go like this okay so we need to have two we need to cut out here this one this one's covered I'm going to cut the extra off of this All right, and that's two pieces. And then this one has the bird page. We need to cut this out. There we go, isn't that cute? and punch our holes. There we go, got a hole there, hole here. Okay. All right, let me get some of this out of the way here <laughs> that I don't need. Uh, that lace, I have a little bit of trims and laces here. Here's a pretty one. Let's see, I think I can get it out of this much but you know what, I can probably just cut this in half. Then I won't be wasting, wasting any of this pretty lace or cutting it too short for the next one. So let's put this one in here. Uh, let me put the loop in first. Or the fold. And we'll run it through here. Get this open. And this through here. It's a little bit of a thick piece, but I think it will be cute on here. And pretty. It goes with this scrapbook paper. Okay, I need to tighten that up. So I'm going to pull it through this way. There we go. Sorry if I'm talking a little quiet, <laughs> kind of concentrating here. <clears throat> All right. I think that is good. Okay. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Let me let me snip these little tops off here a little bit though. Let's see which way I want to do it. This way. Let's put that down for a second so I can snip that at an angle. A little bit more here. It's a little, little crooked, Sherry. <laughs> Just a little crooked. Okay. Yeah, a little crooked. There we go. 
pretty much a little bit more right here. There we go. All right. That one's done. And here's our little, other little bird. Let's see, I've got another lace here too. This one looks like it would go good with the birds. This is some seam binding. Yeah, these are some laces I have right here as I'm reorganizing my laces and trims. And I haven't put these particular ones that I put out on my table here. I hadn't put them away yet because I ran out of room in my new little drawers and I need another set of drawers. <laughs> I haven't got it yet. Yeah, I didn't have time to go by Walmart and get and pick up another one, so. So they're sitting here waiting. Okay, that is pretty. Doesn't that look good? Even though it's simple, just a book page with a bird on it and a little bit of uh, really beautiful lace. That lace just looks so good with the bird. It matches so perfectly. I'm not trying to match really, but I guess I am subconsciously, <laughs> apparently. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, so I don't have to get another piece of, okay, this, let me cut this off so I can see what I'm working with here. Let's cut this off. Okay, I'm going to have to get some of this trash out of here. <laughs> it's kind of driving me insane. <laughs> a bunch of little trash pieces sitting around here now. Maybe I'll just get them all in a little pile. Let's see, now this I could probably use. Uh, possibly. Well, I've got a tear there. Well, I'm going to leave it. No, I'm going to cut this off in case I can use it. Yeah, I just saw this bird here, but he's kind of got the bottom half cut off. So let's see what is scraps and what is trash. These are pieces I can use and this is I can use, this I can use, and this is all trash right here. I contemplated getting a little tabletop trash can. <laughs> I swear did I see one? I think I saw it in the oh I think I saw one where did I see one at Dollar Tree? I think they have a little, like a little tiny trash can that you can probably like sit on your desk and throw your scraps in there as you're crafting. Even though I have a trash can right here beside my desk, you see how I'm kind of throwing trash right there as I clip it off. It's just landing right there. And uh, maybe I should get one of those little tabletop, I'm gonna call it a table, <laughs> what else would it be, right? But a tabletop trash can, okay. I have a feeling I'm going to run out of time here, so that's why let me go ahead and cut some of these pieces off here, extra, and see where I'm at. I might pause and look through my scraps to see if I have any more I want to finish these off with. Okay, so here's the scraps I have to work with. Here's some bigger scraps over here. I kind of want some more color. So this one's kind of long. You know what? This might fit here. Nope. See, I have a little piece right there. I'm going to have to put a third piece on some of these. Oh, that's pretty on that side. Okay, let me just do it because that way I'll be using up scraps. I'm just going to make myself use what I have here and not get up and get anything else. You know, that's what it's all about when you're using up your scraps sometimes. Challenge yourself to use. <laughs> Like I have more scraps, but I have to get up and get them. So why not just challenge myself to use what I have right here on my table right now and be done with it, right? So see how it doesn't go all the way to, up to the top? Oh, here's one that has a, a, uh, a line on it that I need to cut off. That little dotted line. Okay, so, and then I'm going to put a piece right here, maybe overlap both of these a little bit, and then cut off the extra. What's on here? Nothing? Okay, so, what about right there? Okay, let's do the same thing to this one. Use up this little piece. Yeah, these would be great to cut out of a collage or masterboard too. 
which I just did some master boards, which I'll show you sometime in another video. They're in the other room. And I was using, I was sorting through magazine pieces and I pulled out some and I was thought, All right, I'm going to get rid of these. I don't like, I don't want to use these. And I thought, well, why don't I see how they look on a master board? And I did. I glued them down and I really like the master board now. So, but now I have to cut it up. So maybe I'll make some of these, you know, narrow tags by cutting up a master board and, you know, doing it that way next time. Because this time I just cut up, you know, file folder scraps. Okay, see, there's the three pieces. Okay, so and cut my hole. And everything takes time, doesn't it? <laughs> Each little step. Okay, oh, that's cute, isn't it, with the three pieces? Okay. We knew it would be, didn't Or you knew it would be, didn't you? Okay, so this one I got to cut up the extra. With the three pieces really needs a focal point though on that one and then this one needs a piece and this one needs to be completely covered okay <clears throat> still challenging myself to, to use the last few pieces i have here okay so let's do this one let me make sure i get my edges here This one's going to need a lot of pieces on it here. So I'll put one over here. And then this little piece I'll put on this one. Give it a pop of color. <laughs> this looks good with the other papers though. Okay. Oops, bring it down, bring it down before it dries. <laughs> I left a little sliver on the bottom. <clears throat> Let's use this longer one next. It's not long enough, but it's longer than that other piece. All right. I have my coffee dyed paper strips here too, or scraps. So I can use some of that. I'm kind of using up these colored strips or scraps first, aren't I? Okay, let's see. Maybe a... Oh, here's a bird. Look at that. Let's put this bird on here. Let's see. I'll put the bird. I need more behind it, though. Let's grab... Let's grab a coffee dyed scrap. This will cover up this one, I think. The rest of the file folder on this one. Okay, now, here we go. Nope, it doesn't quite cover it up, does it? I need a little piece right there. Okay, so that one, this one, I'm gonna go strip. Not like that. <laughs> a little tiny s scrap. Over here. Does that do it? Yes. And then I need another, maybe a piece of, uh, let me just put glue on here, a little bit overlapping on the other papers and over the top here, around the punched hole, and cover that up like that. Edge to the edge, overlapping the other pieces. And again, I need another piece here. And let's yeah, let's use that. There's a bright, colorful piece that kind of is this this color. So I'll put that up here. See that? <clears throat> okay, let's cut these out. one I got. Now this one. And I think I'm going to have to end in just a second. 
Hopefully my camera's not going to cut me off. Okay. Here's that one. Let's put this little bird on here. Let's just uh, put some glue on here and glue it down. Cut off the extra again on the bird. And then uh, I may do the uh, finish these off on the off the camera, off the video, because I'm afraid my my uh, camera's gonna cut me off here. So I should have probably already ended. Okay, <laughs> it probably already cut me off. Okay, so that's that one. I need to cut holes. But I'm going to end here because I'm getting a little paranoid about the camera cutting me off. Okay, there's these three covered. This one, cute. That's the longest, narrowest one. <laughs> and this one, we, I'm going to call this one done, except did I ink on this one? I think I'm going to ink this one. And this one I did ink. This was the first one that we just left in a rectangle. And then this one here, super cute. I might put some kind of a focal point on here. So that, I'm going to end there, but uh, just to get us started on these cute little narrow tags. And I uh, did a bunch just out of a little fi file folder scraps. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great Tag Tuesday. <laughs> Happy crafting.